it's officially the start of summer. Kids are out of school, the beach is looking nice, and the sun never sleeps. But as parents of young children, we know that along with the fun and the joys of water comes a real concern for water safety. That's why today I've decided to test out two different flotation devices to see which is the most fun but also the most safe for young children. I'm testing the Stearns Puddle Jumper versus the Speedo Splash Jammer Vest. I have found that the quality of these devices vary tremendously or more specifically my kids have found that out when they are swimming independently one week at the YMCA and the next week they pick a different floaty, jump in, only to get a mouthful of water. Before we begin, it's really important to know that these are type 5 swimmers. They are not life-saving devices, therefore stability only. The child will have to tilt their head back slightly in order to stay afloat. It will not keep them upright like a type 1 or 2 vest might do. Alright, so let's get to it. Now I'm going to rate these on three factors that parents care about, but there is a really big if at the end that can negate all of this information and make a vest really unsafe for your child, so make sure you watch until the very end. Now let's just quickly get the similarities out of the way. These vests are both Coast Guard approved, they're made basically out of the same materials, they have some really cute and fun designs, and they're practically the same price. Now there are three things that I kind of rated these on. The first is confidence. How safe does my child feel in the device? And the way I measured this is the jumpability test. So if they could jump into the water and not get a bunch of water in their mouth and up their nose, then I know that they feel confident enough in the vest. Yeah, just reach for my hand, just reach for my hand. You ready? One, two, three. How is it? Is your face get in? I'm really surprised that the Speedo went out on this. I've used puddle jumpers before and the kids felt pretty confident in them. Also, Amashe being the youngest at just turning three, she's typically the one who wants to jump in without fear. But I think if you watch until the end, you'll see why I think this was going on with this vest. The second thing is the buoyancy or floatability test. So for me as a parent watching, even if they feel safe, I need to know which vest is actually keeping them afloat the easiest. Swim! 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 Pull! 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 With your arms! Pull! You can do it! Swim! Kick your feet! Move your arms! Move your arms! Move your arms! Now, this is yours. This is yours. What's this one's name? This is, this is her? And who is this one? All right, ready? Again, the speedo wins out on this one. Sort of surprised again. Typically, a piwe is the more timid one, but Amashe was trying to get out of the water, hanging out on the edge, so the puddle jumper just wasn't doing it for her. And finally is motility or the movability test. Can they move around, go from the water to grabbing a snack to the bathroom without me having to unbuckle this thing over and over again? How does that best feel when you have to go to the bathroom? Good. Is it too heavy? No. Okay, Mama. Go ahead and run. I have to go to the bathroom. Run back this way, Mama. Good. Just get out of here. Stop. Stop. 
<laughs> now back up. Back up, yes. two are pretty even when it comes to the ability of the child to move around. In the end, I'd have to give the Speedo Vest a slightly higher score than the Puddle Jumper. And I only say slightly higher because I've had so many more Puddle Jumpers that we've used and this hasn't always been the experience. However, I do think that the added vest portion of the Speedo gives kids a little bit more confidence than with the Puddle Jumper. I will say though, make sure you take a look at the safety booklet that comes with any child life-saving or flotation device because it really gives some great information. So I got the Puddle Jumper secondhand at a children's secondhand store. And even though it didn't look like it was that much used, it was slightly faded. And then I later read that fading can be an indicator of the vest losing its buoyancy and life-saving properties. So. I would say definitely buy new and if you do buy used make sure it's nice and bright. I don't really think it's worth the $7 I saved to buy used. I'd say go ahead and buy new. Click on my link in the description box to take a look and compare and contrast these two and decide which one you want to buy and remember to have a safe and happy summer. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more of my recommendations make sure you click the subscribe button. 